Over the past 10 years, each of these actors have reached their prime and have managed to earn a lot. But who made the most? How much do these actors who were on the set of Modern Family at the beginning make? Find out in our video. Hi, I'm Clive, and you're watching Asa. Jeremy Maguire, net worth $3 million. Maguire joined the cast of Modern Family in Season 7, playing Fulgencio Joe Pritchett, a five-year-old boy, according to TMZ Report, made $9,000 per episode and made $135,000 in just one season. His salary is rising, and now seven-year-old Jeremy makes $20,000 per episode. Overall, the young talent has made about $1 million from the show. Impressive, isn't it? Apart from this show, Jeremy also starred in Michelle Schumacher's drama I'm Not Here and the TNT series The Last Ship. The young actor has 183,000 followers on Instagram. He makes appearances on the red carpet and Emmy ceremonies, where he charms interviewers and makes philosophic guesses about the finale of the show. His net worth is $3 million at the age of 7. Good boy, Jeremy! Aubrey Anderson Emmons, net worth $6 million. How old do you think you are in your first memory? Maybe four or six, perhaps? Aubrey Anderson Emmons has become a modern familiar at the age of three. According to the young lady, at first she had no idea what was going on. Were these people real? Did they actually live there? They had to explain to her that the houses were fake and that the people were just pretending. Aubrey has been performing a role so well that starting from 2018, she has been earning $70,000 per episode. As of now, she is on a list of the richest young Hollywood stars. And today, her net worth is estimated to be $6 million. Well done, Aubrey! And let's move on. Rico Rodriguez, net worth $12 million. Apparently, playing the smart, romantic Manny, Rico Rodriguez didn't have to do much pretending. In 2012, he released a book, Real Life Lessons, and we can definitely guess what it is about, as he spent all his life on set. Anyway, since 2018, his salary has increased to $125,000 per episode. Rico has even appeared in The Muppets playing himself, which only proves that the USA knows and loves Manny. It's astonishing how much these child actors are earning, but we are really happy for them, especially since they're super talented. Nolan Gould, net worth $12 million. Remember Luke at the beginning of the show? And remember what he looks like now? Who would have thought that the clumsy Luke would become one of the hottest cast members by the time we reached the end of the show? When he was 13, Ellen DeGeneres asked him, how old were you when you started your career? Nolan answered, three. And here's what he said next. It's been a really long road, but I'm enjoying every minute. During the same interview, he confessed that he's a member of Mensa, the most famous organization for people with high intellect. It is no surprise, Nolan's IQ is 150, which is what Nobel laureates have. Nevertheless, the role of not-so-smart Luke brought him $12 million. Just like his colleague, starting from 2018, he's been earning $125,000 per episode. Well, we will definitely be expecting not just new roles, but also discoveries from Nolan. Ariel Winter, net worth $12 million. Ariel, who portrayed nerd Alex Dunphy, also started her career at a young age, when she was just four. Today, she's been in more than 40 movies and also has done a few voiceovers. Ariel has been earning $75,000 since season eight and $125,000 since 2018. Over these years, she's made quite the net worth, $12 million. The court ordered her father to control Winter's finances due to the girl's conflict with her mother. When she was 14, her mother caught her with a boy, actor Cameron Pilatus. Cameron was 18 at the time, and Ariel's mother sued him. Ariel said that her mother made it up and then accused her of physical and emotional violence. For two years, her mother was trying to get custody back, but in May 2015, the court ruled that Ariel Winter did not need a custodian anymore. And that's not the only scandal Ariel's been involved in. Unfortunately, Ariel Winter has been harshly criticized for her appearance. The fans body shamed her for her weight, and then she was accused of chopping her body when Ariel decided to have a breast reduction. Ariel said she sees nothing shameful in the operation and has let the haters know that she doesn't like that kind of talk. We encourage everyone to not just look at appearances, but also at the person's inner beauty. Ariel, we are on your side and wish you great success. Sarah Hyland, net worth $14 million. Hyland is a comedy treasure, and if you watch Modern Family, you can't disagree with that. She has starred in hit movies such as Dirty Dancing in 2017, Scary Movie 5, Vampire Academy, and XOXO. The role of the careless beauty Haley Dunphy brings the actress $130,000 per episode. And over this time, Sarah was able to make $14 million. 
It's surprising how she can easily play careless Haley, as the actress has had a few rough years. On December 10, 2018, a shocking video appeared on a YouTube channel called Self. In the video, Sarah said that seven years ago, she had a kidney transplantation. But two years ago, there was an objection, and she had to undergo another transplantation. Sarah was very depressed and was even thinking of ending her life. She's revealed that by the age of 27, she already had 27 surgeries. However, she did say that the list of illnesses doesn't hold me back from anything. We hope she'll be alright and she'll be able to perform many more great roles. Julie Bowen Net worth $18 million The Halloween lover Claire Dunphy was portrayed by Julie Bowen. Since 2014, Julie has been making $190,000 per episode, and recently that has increased to an incredible $500,000. Now her net worth is $18 million. The role has brought her not only good money, but also six nominations and two Emmy Awards. She is a board member of baby to baby charity organization, and she also has a list of funds she regularly donates to. In 2016, Julie ranked 10 in Forbes for the world's highest paid TV actress. Recently, Julie bought a nice ranch next to Studio City in Los Angeles where she lives with her children. Lucky for them, they won't need to save for college. Jesse Tyler Ferguson Net worth $20 million The actor started his career in Broadway shows, and in one of them, Black Beauty, Jesse had to portray a horse. Soon after, Jesse got to TV and then joined one of the best TV casts of all times, which earned him $20 million. Just like his character, Mitchell Pritchett, Jesse is openly gay. In 2013, in NYC, he got married to his partner, Justin Makita. He lives with his husband and two dogs, Leaf and Sammy, in a large Spanish colonial home with a pool. Earlier, the house was owned by Gwen Stefani, and then she sold it to the ex-vampire Robert Pattinson. Now, there's a rug at the entrance that says, Homo Sweet Homo. And speaking of their amazing house, Jesse and Justin says, We're not snobby about it. It's about emotional attachment. Eric Stone Street, net worth $23 million. Thoughtful, creative, and the most impulsive character for Modern Family, Cameron Tucker, is one of our favorite characters from the show. You'll be surprised, but Eric Stone Street, who portrayed his role, is openly straight. According to People, since 2017, Eric has been dating a nurse named Lindsay Schweitzer, and it's looked like they're going to get married. Well, why not? He is a great man. Besides, since 2018, he's been earning $500,000 per episode, and his net worth is more than $23 million. He lives in Studio City, LA, in a house he'd been renting for a few years and then bought for $750,000. It's a cozy, modest, ranch-style bungalow with two bedrooms. And everything in this house is about Eric. Simple, but exquisite. Ty Burrell Net worth $26 million Ty made a fortune, earning $500,000 per episode from 2018. You are probably wondering how the actors have different amounts despite having earning the same amount now. The thing is, they started earning the same amounts of money only in the last seasons. At the start of the show, each actor was paid according to their popularity. But don't forget that the net worth also includes advertisements and other contracts. But we will be talking about that a bit later. Besides $26 million, Ty got Emmy and SAG awards for the role of magician Phil Dunphy. He lives in a beautiful vintage Spanish home in Cheviot Hills, LA, together with his wife. The couple has only recently bought this house for $4.2 million. Burrell is also the owner of a modern penthouse in Culver City, California. Right now, the penthouse is on sale, and the price is little compared to his recent purchase. It's only $1,300,000. So, if you are a fan of the father of the Dunphy family, you know how much to save. Ed O'Neill Net worth $65 million Ed O'Neill had been the main star of the show even before the project was launched. Before Jay Pritchett, it was Al Bundy, who gave him a great start on TV. When the actors first met, everyone knew who Ed was. As Ed revealed, he knew no one. But after he watched the pilot, he called his colleague Eric Stone Street and said, If this show doesn't run for 10 years, I don't know what I'm doing in this business. Over the past 10 years, Ed has made $65 million. And it seems that after this project, the actor's going to have a well-deserved rest. He's recently bought a house on the big island of Hawaii for $6.25 million. His luxurious house is 4,200 square meters and located right next to Keola Clubhouse. A great view of the ocean is probably what he needs after so many years of productive and talented work. We're finally moving to the last person on our list who also happens to be making the most money. Sofia Vergara Net worth $160 million Colombian bombshell became famous way before she joined the Pritchett family. At the age of 17, Sofia already had advertisement contracts with Pepsi, but after 2009 and her contract with ABC, everything changed forever. 
Three years after the beginning of the show, Vergara was on Forbes as the world's highest paid TV actresses list, which she had been leading for three years in a row. Just like Gloria Delgado, Sofia had to raise her child by herself after her divorce with the child's father. But whatever was happening in her life led her to her success, so it was all for the best. Now she's got everything. A loving husband, great projects, a high salary, and her own style. I mean, literally, you've been on this show for 10 years and your accent has gotten worse. How is that possible? <laughs> it's interesting that Vergara quit dentistry school. Perhaps she felt that she was to become one of the most famous actresses in the world? In 2014, Sofia bought herself a small gift an Italian-style house in the heart of Beverly Hills for $10.6 million. With her net worth of $160 million, Sophia is leading our list today. We are waiting for the new season of Modern Family, and we can't believe that it's the end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and stay awesome!